Mako Pro Team member Andrew Badolovich lives on the south coast of New South Wales. His favourite sort of fishing is off the stones, chasing the tough and pugnacious drummer. Here's his take on how best to go about catching this fish, and hopefully these tips will help you get out there and find some in your local area. We've had a scrambling over these granite rocks here. What are we actually doing right now? <laughs> well, we're just going to cut some conjavoy for bait for fishing. Uh, Don, we're going to catch some drummer off the rocks, hopefully. This is one of my favourite types of fishing, and the good reason for that is it's very available to everyone. You can walk along any part of the coastline and find a rocky foreshore or a headland where you can catch these fish. It's definitely one of my favourites. This is a particular spot that we stood up on top of the headland and watched for about 10 minutes. The rocks seem pretty dry still, which means the waves haven't come up yet. So I reckon that looks safe enough for us to fish. You've always got to be uh, watching the sea, keep your mind on the job, but um, you've got to also have time to enjoy it. And I think if you're safe, you will enjoy it. The burl is definitely starting to work. Definitely a bit of activity out there now. I'm starting to feel the bites a bit more. Uh, when we first started, there was tiny little bites from tiny little fish. I'm starting to feel a few more solid bites and typical of a drummer, that thud, thud, thud. When that happens, you've got to lower the rod tip a little bit to them, allow them to eat that bait, and when they load up, that's when you stick it to them. Oh, it's a piglet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got ourselves a good fish here, Dom. It's been a tough fight. Oh, they dive hard for cover. I'm just going to try and puppy dog him out because he's run me through the rocks. My line will be incredibly frayed. Oh, he's a nice pig, mate. He's a beauty. So, if Dom, if you can just go down, when I get that surge, just try and slide the fish up onto the rocks, but try not to grab the line. He's spent, so he's all yours. Just slide him. Keep him on the rocks. Don't lift him. And just slide him all the way up over to your... in that crevice there, mate. If you can get him in that crevice, we're safe. Whoa! Oh, he's still got a bit of kick in him. That's a... Uh, that's a uh, Eastern Rock Blackfish Dom. Beautiful one. A uh, black drummer or a pig. That's a cracker. That's that's pushing up the uh, close to three kilo. Got a nice big tail on him. That's oh, great. they're such a powerful, powerful fish. Yeah. And you saw, he never gave up. He still doesn't want to be awesome. here. And um, mate, the importance of strong line yeah, um, and strong hooks. They are a power pack. These things, mate, I reckon they'd pull mangrove jack backwards. Right. They are so strong. Yeah. Although the conditions look great for drummer fishing, it was actually really tough. The water was ultra clear and it didn't help enticing those drummer out to take our baits. However, we did manage a couple of fish and one really nice fish. We were able to do that by identifying a small weed covered ledge at our feet. And uh, we did that by using our polarised eyewear presented a bait along that edge and we came up trumps. So at the end of the day, it was good, we got a fish. We did it safely. We're going to pick up all our rubbish, all our little bits of line clippings and our bread burly and everything before we leave. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the show and, and hope you enjoyed and hope you get a few tips out of this segment.